In this video, I want to talk about how to adjust in Madden, and I think this is one of the most under uh, spoken about topics, and I want to do kind of a deep dive into it today a little bit. Uh, we're going to walk through kind of some basics to adjusting, and then we're going to talk about why, as well as like some advanced stuff to stop some of the best, most popular formation uh, in the game, which is tight south halfback week, at least in my opinion, probably the best formation. Now, we are in the 46th playbook. Now, if you want to get my entire adjustment guide, um, we're actually working on kind of a detail detailed in-depth breakdown in our Patreon. We have a ton of, of breakdowns on adjustments in our offensive and defensive eBooks. So if you want to get access to all of that material, make sure to become a Patreon member. It's only $10 to do so, and it gets you access to all of our eBooks, all of our update videos, all of our exclusive tips, everything you get access for just 10 bucks. Now, what we're talking about today is adjustments, and this is one of the most underrated talk topics uh, in Madden. And really, um, I wanted to kind of start it with this phrase that I've actually been, uh, well, I got two phrases for you. First and foremost, one of the first professional Madden players I ever studied, his name was Warhawk back in Madden 2012. He was one of the best players in the in the world in Madden 13. He actually lost a problem uh, in the Virgin Gaming Challenge, uh, which was the their version, I guess, of the Madden Bowl back then. Uh, but he was in the semifinals when he lost. So he's really, really, really good player. And he said that offense is all about reads. Defense is all about adjustments. And it, and that I think that is is certainly true. If you look at anything, you you have to have a base defense, a foundation. But you also have to be able to take that foundation and create tweaks to it, adjusting to your opponent. Now, the second thing is something that's actually more um, more of a uh, con concept in basketball, but it does apply to Madden a lot. And it's essentially this. It's that you can be a man defense that turns into zone or you could be a zone defense that turns into man. And I think that is super, super, super true. So a couple audibles for you here real quick. We're in the 4-6 playbook, 3-3 Cub. Again, this whole ebook is on the Patreon. Cover 4, Show 2, OLB Blitz 1, Samuel Blitz 3, and Tampa 2. In this Tampa 2 spot, you could honestly, um, this Nickel Blitz 3 is good. Like you could kind of get with whatever. Um, you know, I would for fun, we'll just put Sam Safety Blitz. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, um, so let's get on the field and talk through things. So how do you adjust? Uh, first and foremost, you adjust based off of tendency and formation and player, right? Um, so tendency and formation. So tight slot setback week. What is the threat in this formation? What is the most important player that you can defend? Or what is the most important route that you can defend? Well, I would argue that one of the most important routes that we can defend is the corner route to the left side of the screen. So, um, for example, in this right here, if we press our defense, maybe we want to move these safeties down just a little bit more, right? But this is this is the best route in the formation. So one of the things that we can do to stop this is we can go hard flat right uh, to this flat, flat player here. We can go with a hard flat over here on the right. Or what we could also do that I like is actually running match coverage, but we're going to run our match coverage. That's going to stop the corner route on the left side. But the beauty of this is this is how to adjust. We're going to change the coverage on the other side. So, um, for example, we're going to man up the outside corner onto the tight end, and we're going to man up the right side safety onto the solo receiver. So you see here we're going to send five, and basically we're going to try to take away anything quick. So we know that this left side is going to be completely bagged. We know that, okay, going into this. So our primary objective here is to just use her over the middle of the field for just a second, and we're getting pressure. And if you look at instant replay, there's not a whole lot of places that you can go with this football. So again, a big part of adjustment, adjusting is understanding how to adjust, but why to adjust, and when to adjust, and where to adjust. Those are all key, uh, key points. And you can do it out of anything. So you see here the match coverage, really, really great little coverage D. And then as you can see, this is pretty solid pressure and pretty solid coverage, okay? Now, how do you adjust like your, your secondary, right? So if I say baseline press and show blitz or something, right? How do you do that? Well, what you do, if you look, if you click your right joystick in in practice mode, you'll be able to bring up your keys here. Um, and it says adjust defense. 
these are different ways that we can adjust. So if we want to globally do anything, like let's say we want to globally uh, pass commit or we want to globally pinch our defense or we want to spread our defense, right? Or we want to tell our, our entire defense to play option quarterback or option running back. Or if we want to tell our outside guys to contain, all those things are done by hitting the RB or R1 button. So you see here, like I could go to this and then I could pinch my entire defense. That means I'm pinching my defensive line, I'm pinching my linebackers, and I'm pressing simultaneously uh, with one adjustment. It's one adjustment as opposed to three adjustments. So those are some reasons why you would do that. Now, if I wanted to adjust my secondary, I was talking about how I want to play maybe, what I love about match coverage is it's a split safety defense. So I could play one defense over here on the left and I could play an entirely defense over here on the right side of the screen. So what you'll see, maybe I go something like this, right? And let's say that I wanna make some adjustments. So I wanna man lock the backside. I wanna play man coverage um, on the backside of this, this, this defense. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, we're gonna start putting people in coverage. So the way that you do that is you're gonna individually adjust them. So if they're a secondary player, like a safety or a corner, we're gonna hit the Y button, or we're going to hit um, we're gonna hit triangle on uh, PlayStation. Okay, so from there you're gonna see here I can individually I can hit X on on PlayStation. This would be A on Xbox, and then I can click the icon of who I want to play. So like for example, um, let's say that I wanted to back off. Let's say that I'm scared that. Um, Marcus Vadas Scantling is going to beat me deep or something. I'm going to back him off just like that. Or I could press him. Or I could individually shade them. Or I could spotlight them, right? Um, another thing is quick adjust. So the way that you would put them in coverage is you're going to hit YY or triangle, triangle. And then you're going to click the defender that you want to do. So in this case, we're going to take the safety, which would be the X icon. And we're going to flick our right joystick up. That's going to allow us to man him up and we can put him in man coverage on anybody on the field. So you can see we can do something like this. I think this is such an underrated adjustment um, for, you know, this literally bags the best play in the game. Like Flood is the best play in the game, and this setup right here pretty much is going to bag uh, one of the best plays in the entire game, as you can see here. I mean, there's just not a whole lot of things they can do. Um, that right there can get you uh, over the top, but that's really more of like a match thing in general. There's ways around that. Um, I wouldn't be too concerned with that. If you want to stop that, you could do something like this where you inside third, and then we're going to have inside leverage, which I'm a big fan of, and then we're going to have outside inside. Again, a zone defense or a match defense, right, that turns into some man coverage. So you see here, now all of a sudden we're able to bracket uh, that deep post. Now, again, you want to adjust based off a of tendency. So um, what you want to do is you want to have a foundational coverage defense. Maybe that's a man coverage. Maybe that's a zone coverage. Maybe that's a match coverage, right? But as, they, as you run this play, okay, now maybe you want to, let's say, okay, so we're running this defense, right? Let's just say, um, you know, hypothetically running this defense, okay? Now they start to hit us with this out route to the tight end over here. So what we could do is we could shade our coverage down. We can shade our coverage down. You're going to notice it's going to turn those quarter flats into hard flats. You can also shade your coverage outside. One of the best ways to stop corner routes this year is to just shade your coverage outside. And you'll see now I've got a hard flat out there and he's going to pretty much guard that tight end flat route. Again, it's super, super subtle, but what are the little things that you can do? So for example, let's say you're running the Sam Will Blitz 3. Um, we, know, uh, we know that short side corner routes are really hard to stop, right? We know that. So one of the things that we can do, again, we talk about starting to man lock things. One of the things we can do is we can say, okay, uh, this safety right here, we're gonna cross man him onto the circle receiver, and then we're gonna take our other safety and cross man him onto, uh, onto this receiver over here. So now what you get is you get kind of almost like a, like a scissor type of adjustment uh, where you can do that. So you see here, something like this, and you see we get this crisscross. Now we're still sitting five, uh, but now, as you can see here, all we need is somebody to guard the tight end. So we can man that outside corner up on the tight end. And so you see you can do different things uh, with your adjustments. Uh, you, there's an unlimited number of adjustments, right? Um, but as you can see, there's certain adjustments that work really, really well. One of the adjustments that work really, really well is cross manning your safeties on problem routes. So for example, if I'm in, let's say I'm in the Sam, uh, 
Sam safety, whatever blitz. And let's say I show, you know, do this or whatever. And then, you know, I don't know why, how, how they get the safety down. But anyway, if this guy's down here, right now he, I can go ahead and do a lot with this player. So you see that he's, I could either send him off the edge um, or what I could do is I could man him up on somebody or I could put him in zones, right? There's so many things I can do, uh, but what is the most effective thing to do? So one of the most effective things to do may be to go ahead and take that safety and man him up on that slot receiver that gives this formation in general, um, that gives us a lot of problems. So we could do something like that, um, you know, and then your user, if you're going to send four, I would put your user in a deep blue. If you're going to send three, I would blitz your user. Okay, so if you send three or less, blitz your user. If you send four or more, put him in his own. So you do something like this, okay? Now we know also that the running back snap throw is something that a lot of people like to do. So let's say maybe they're doing something like this. How would you stop this with your adjustments? Well, one of the things that you can do to stop that is you can go ahead and take that outside cornerback and man him up onto the running back. Now this seam flat will be fine against the flat. You now have some help um, in terms of how this is going to play. And again, I love to crisscross these guys or maybe just put this guy in a half. You know, you gotta think about like what they're gonna be, again, it all comes back to like, what are they actually running? Um, you know, but this is something else that you could do. And again, one of the things I like about 3-3 Cub is because you audible down into it from 3-3 normal, you can cross man your linebackers on anybody on the field. So I could do something like this. And now, even though this looks kind of crazy, it takes away a lot of stuff that people are going to do, as you can see. So um, I could talk about adjustments all day long, but a couple key questions here. What are they threatening with? What are they threatening you with from a formation perspective? What is the best thing their formation does? In this example here, I think the best thing this formation does is it floods the left side. So I want to take that away. So the best way to do that is to play this match coverage here. Now from there, that's my foundation. That's my foundation, right? From there, I need to, okay, what can they do then to adjust to me? So one of the things that they can do is they can motion this guy across the formation and they can run something like this setup because this is gonna, in essence, cancel match coverage. So if I see this motion, what am I prepared to do from an adjustment perspective? Well, I don't need three defenders on the right side of the screen because they're probably not gonna throw the ball to the right side of the screen, right? So what I wanna do defensively now is we're gonna take this linebacker and play man-to-man -man basketball with him onto this tight end, and then we're gonna roll these coverages. So for example, um, you know, we could maybe have like a, you know, maybe roll this guy into coverage on their best player, right? Their best player being uh, the triangle receiver. So you see here, get these guys back down, but you see now it looks like this. And now we have these quarters uh, that are pretty good. Uh, and then, you know, from here, I got to also say, okay, what else are they going to do? Uh, how else are they going to attack from this? So if you look at the play art here, one of the other ways they can attack you is they could have somebody drag across. So I want to take that away. So I'm going to play a little hard flat coverage to take away any kind of drags across the formation. Now, all I know from a user perspective is I'm pretty good against any kind of flood concept. Maybe I want to take this guy and put him in an inside third to protect against some things over the middle, you know, but I'm pretty decent. And then now what I'm able to do here is even though this corner route's really, really good, that KO is, mo is coming across and he He's got a chance to play that. So again, I could talk all day long about adjustments. I hope this video was helpful. Guys, this is just kind of a broad stroke of adjustments. If you want to get really serious about learning how to adjust to the best offenses in this game, make sure that you are in the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be in the description down below. It's only $10 to become a member. It gets you access to everything in there. We show you how to stop the best offenses in this game the offenses you are going to face uh we're going to show you how to stop them in the patreon we also show you how to run them uh, as well on the patreon so thanks for watching and uh, if you want to become a patreon member head down to the description and click the link down below